Hello, this is a preview for the open source photography course. It's not a full lesson, but it should give you an idea of what the video tutorials are like in the course itself. If you'd like to learn more about the course, or if you'd like to save 50% by pre-ordering, head over to rileybrandt.com slash lesson. Moving on to the next image, um, I have more issues going on here. There is the lens distortion, there is some vignetting, but also because I photograph this building close up, I'm kind of at a low angle and I'm using a wide lens, um, I've ended up with some perspective distortion on this building, or quite a bit actually. And if you remember back in the crop and rotate video, I mentioned that I'd come back and look at keystoning because this is something that I use often in combination with lens correction. So let's just see how I do that. I'm going to start off with just the defaults and lens correction, turn it on, and right away you can see it's made that subtle change, but a nice one, fixed the lens distortion, and the vignetting's gone. I'm going to come back over to the basic group here, uh, come down to crop and rotate, and under keystone, I'm going to choose vertical for this image. You should see that uh, a couple, well, four red circles have appeared here, and they're on two lines, two vertical lines. And what I want to do is I want to click and drag these until I line it up with a part of the image that should be straight but isn't. It needs a reference point. So I'm going to use these columns here on this side. And then I'll do the same thing with the other side. Click and drag. Bring it over. It might not be perfect, but it's pretty close. And when you have things lined up and you think you're ready to go, um, there's a little OK button in the middle. It's sometimes difficult to see. Um, but click on that, and you should see a really dramatic shift here. And it really is. That's a big one. So you notice that everything's straightened out now. This is what the building actually looks like. The lines are straight and so on. And it's actually sucked in those uh, pixels uh, to correct that perspective distortion. Uh, so we do lose a fair bit of the image. But on the bonus, you end up with a proper uh, perspective on the building. So if we actually just went back and just kind of saw that difference, this is when I first opened it up. Uh, this is after the lens correction, and we fix that distortion and vignetting. And then afterwards, with the keystoning and crop and rotate, very dramatic change, and I've really uh, fixed the perspective distortion on that building.